Is it on? You're watching T.S. Madison TV. My God, today. <laughs> Queen Latifah was the one with the movie together. What movie? Mary J. Blige, Queen Latifah. Put what movie together? The Clock Sisters. Oh, okay. You y'all know it's close. Hold on. All right. All right, y'all. We got the first lady. Everybody shot Tara Didi out of OC. Let's hey, go. good morning. Hey, hey, Didi out of OC. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Didi out of OC. Out of OC. Out of OC. Good morning, Craig. Good morning. Happy Easter. I love Happy your hat, Madison. I love your hat, too, Craig. You giving me bishop. Bishop Chi -chi looking like a gay Chi Chi looking like a gay matador. <laughs> <laughs> he go to Church of God of Christ of Latter Day Saints. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> the for the Latter Day. That's the church Chi Chi go to. The church of the Latter Day. Girl, she said she had oh a hat. And this was the hat, girl. I mean, it was it it, it fit your it, it fit your your oh, soiree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So, Craig, last mm -hmm. night you and I said that we were going to talk about the um, the uh, the Clock Sisters movie. You said we had a little good, we had a good look key and stuff we like did. that. I, I even got up this morning. This is why the show is starting at nine thirty instead of instead of Sam over there because see, I'm going off California time. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, you texted me this morning saying I'm getting ready. I said, okay, let me go put my dentures on. That's what you said. <laughs> so. Overall, let's get started, Craig. Overall, okay. all right, it was a good movie. Oh, and ladies and gentlemen, to the Maddie Ma, I will be addressing that uh, if what I wrote into my Patreon uh, yesterday about that I had some news. I had went to the eye doctor or whatever, and I was out of commission for a couple of days, honey. You get what I'm saying? I was out of commission for a few days, so I had to sat out. I had to get somewhere and sat down. You get what I'm saying? So I regathered, I regathered my vision back on in this eye. I kept telling y'all that I was having little issues in that eye over there, honey. But now she's she she's a little bit better. But you know, God is going and He's working it out for you. <laughs> All right. So, Craig, on a scale of A to Z, with A being the highest and Z being the lowest on the alphabet. Which means that's between one and ten. What do you give the movie? Do you give it an A one, a B two, a C three, a D four, uh, a L five? All right, let, let me. So you want me to do one through five, or I want you to give me on a scale. Like, is it a, is it an A list? Is it an A movie? A B movie? Like, what do you give it? Like, I mean, because then I'm, I'm gonna come in and help you out. I would give it a B plus or B, a, a strong B. B, a solid B, because the singing was the singing was incredible, and those girls that were cast, uh, a lot of those girls were actually singing. Um, the acting was great. I thought the casting was spot on, but you know there were some things that I would have developed more, or I would have wanted to see more of, and, and we'll get into it, but. But overall, I thought it was good. I liked it. I didn't love it. Like when I turned on social media, when I looked on my Facebook and on my Twitter, I saw people raving about um, how it was so great and it was just so this and you know. And I thought it was good, but I just thought that there were some elements that could have been better. Well, you actually had a lot to say about it. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> and um, we have your comment here that you had things to say about it and you caused slight a slight stir in your social media your social media has grown by the way i'm, I'm so proud of you congratulations and ladies and gentlemen please make sure that you're following craig the writer stewart on all things craig the writer stewart and and his youtube channel because he will be going live on his youtube more than facebook now but <laughs> <laughs> oh that wasn't what you said <laughs> i told y'all i was getting a vision together hold on now <laughs> Hold on, Craig. I told y'all I was getting my vision together now. God damn it. Hold on. Give me a second. <laughs> All right. So, Craig, can you read out your comment so that the children outside on the outside the church doors can can because those some of them can't read because can you please? Right. All right. OK, so I said I like the Clark Sisters movie. Didn't love it, but I liked it. The acting and singing were exceptional. However, those last 15 minutes were rushed to me the near suicide, and Karen's coma. They jumped in and out of those scenes too quickly for me. The story seemed really focused on their mom. It's clear that it was a dedication to her. 
I learned a lot about Maddie Moss, but very little new information about the sisters and their career tra trajectories. I wanted to see how their respective careers and lives developed. How did the group graduate to the next level of success? And what was going on with Denise, the estranged sister, when she was absent from the family? Did the sisters mend their wounds with, with her or is she still an outcast? They should have called this the Maddie Moss story. Ooh. Oh, we'll go back to that in a moment. Someone came for a Terry Cook said, as a Detroiter or anyone that followed the clock family surely realizes Maddie was a force. Agreed. There was a lot that was rushed in the story, development to meet the time slot, creating a multiple night episode experience would have been a great idea. I love the project though. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's other uh, other people had chimed in. Craig, you had when it gathered all this, you was like, listen, I will not be the only one. Right, right. <laughs> Hold on, let me let me ride this across the screen really quick. Like they have a brother, like you mentioned that last night. Yeah, and they they didn't even mention him at all in the movie. So he, so they do have a brother. They so do they do have a brother. They remember, I brother. asked, was it all girls? You know, exactly. You did, and I said no, they didn't have a brother. But then when I did some digging, they do have a brother, and their and their brothers. I can't think of his, his name right now, but Jay Moss, who was a gospel singer who put albums out, he is the son of their brother. Okay, go ahead on and read this, Craig. So someone posted a Netflix series as opposed to a Lifetime movie would have provided for the depth of character development that you're talking about. While watching, I didn't even think about the gaps you thought about because growing up Kojic and a Clark Sisters fan, my mind filled all of that in. As far as Denise is concerned, she isn't so much of an outcast because she, because she was pushed away. Denise wanted to be Denise and got tired of just being one of Maddie's girls. I honestly believed her level of nonconformity served in her best interest later, in, later on in her life. She grew and expanded as a person beyond Detroit, beyond Kojic, beyond being a Clark sister, and beyond just being Maddie's daughter. That is a major feat when you grew up in that kind of house and everyone except you conformed. And, you know, and to his point, I think they if they should have done it the way that they did the the uh, new editions biopic. They did three days. It was like two hours, three days each day, and I think they would have really filled in a lot of this stuff if they had done it that way. Well, you got to also understand too, Craig. That this is Lifetime. We talking about television for women. So right. Lifetime ain't Lifetime ain't, ain't stretching shit out except that they are Kelly story. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's the only thing they cause they ain't trying to bury nobody. Now they bur they stretch that shit out. They stretch their R. Kelly story out in four parts, didn't it? Yeah. They that did. Was time, wasn't it? Yeah, well, you know, they did two they do two different volumes, if you will. Like the first one was the first, you know, um muting R. Kelly, whatever the docuseries was called. I think that was three days. And then they just came back, you know, with the second part of that, with all of this other stuff. Ja, so you know. Also, it was some questions that I had, you know, sitting around the whole situation. Like, when which one was it? Uh, <laughs> I, let me be. Let me be. No. But yeah, but but you know, but Denise, the one who was outcast, who had the seven children. Again, remember when she first left in the movie? I think she had three. And uh, then when <laughs> she came back for the funeral, she was like, "Well, you know, me and my seven boys." It was like, well, when did those other four children come? Like, filling those, like, what was she doing all of those years? Right, you see what she was doing. <laughs> right. And, but, but you know, what they didn't say was, because, I mean, she ended up getting her, I think she has a doctoral. Like, she went on and, you know, went through college and did some things. Like, I really do think that she probably, probably is Hold the on. most developed and mentally we, formed Wait person. a minute. We must got somebody, some kid to, because they last name Clark. But why they ain't doing it, sis? I don't know. I don't know why they ain't doing it. But I do. I, but but listen, Jeremy. I do think that do, now. I didn't say that they don't that they ain't had the the the, the ability and the skill set because they them girls those 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 clocks those bitches got they got the ability and the skill set to go forth in all ministries and they have done that. You hear mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But I do think that the pace sister was saying them into what you say, Lord. <laughs> Hold on, Craig. The Lord is speaking to me. Huh? No, let me call me real quick, Craig. Hold on. Mm -hmm. uh, I said I wasn't gonna bother with it, but I just, I, well, I can't have no pain, your Lord. I can't have 
But Lord, you gave me this man in the morning show. Okay, Lord, all right. Huh? <laughs> come back, Lord. Let's come back. <laughs> but you know, it almost felt like. Man. Uh, remember when Twinkie left? You and I talked about this last night. When Twinkie left and got married, uh -huh. we almost felt like there may have been some abuse from her husband. Because remember, he came in the house and he was in this on this tirade, and he was just like, you know, you're the, you're supposed to be the famous one of the sisters, and you need to be bringing some money in here. Like, what you doing? You know. But I feel like she wanted to separate herself just like Denise did, but she didn't have the courage to do it because she kept pulling away. You know, but then they kept pulling her back in. So I really think in some ways, uh, the sisters as a whole resented Denise for having the courage to live her own life. And it's the same way that we see people now who go to church. You, you know those people in your life and your family who go to church all the time and they upset with you because you out here living your life. You're not sitting in church every day, all day, because that's what they do. Knowing they secretly want to live some of your life, but it's like they mad with you because you. I'm not doing that. Huh? Message, message, Toe. Craig, the Lord keep telling me because the Lord know what my mind is telling me. Thank you. What he say? I just can't get off this pay stuff. <laughs> I, I can't do it. But Lord, <laughs> I, and it was my period, Lord. Huh? <laughs> All right, Lord. Damn. You know, my daddy told me let it go. You know, my daddy said he said this here. Leave it alone. Oh. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. God can't handle it. Better than you can. Leave it alone. Something you got to walk away from is put it in God's hand. Or you won't get in trouble. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. <laughs> I'm done with it. I'm done with it, Queen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it. I just, I, I, I know the Lord told me to leave it alone. I'm finished with it. I ain't messing with it no more. So let's get back. I couldn't, I couldn't even think. Right, the Lord just kept calling, calling me in my ear, and I kept <clears> turning <throat> around. It just. Mm hmm. But no, I mean, overall, I thought it was still, I thought it was a great movie. But for me, when I watch a movie, hear a song, read a book, I want to walk away from that project knowing something that I didn't know going in. And I can't say that I learned a whole lot. I learned a lot about their mom. There was a lot that I learned about their mom. But in terms of learning or knowing more about the sisters, I can't say that I learned more. And I really, you know, just thinking about the movie and how they really revered their mom, they were almost afraid of her. And it's for me as an artist and as a creator, when I looked at that mm -hmm. film, it was almost like they were still trying to, of course you want to honor your mom when you create a film or something like that, but it was almost like they were, it was almost like they really wanted to just tell her story. They weren't even really telling, cause like I really wanted to know, cause remember the mom really impressed upon them how it was important that they never break up. I wanted to see how Karen got the courage to go solo. Like, what what happened? Like, what pushed her to go and do that? Lord, I did. I was not talking about Leandria. Uh, Lord, I didn't say nothing about Leandria. <laughs> Lord, what you? I didn't say nothing about her. <laughs> The Lord told me to tell y'all that Leandra got them all. But that's just the Lord said that now. Anyway. Craig, I can't focus. The Lord just keep whispering to me. Yo, him. Yeah. Breathing. Yo, him. <laughs> yeah, I can hear him. Okay. He said, <laughs> you heard him say something about Leandra. Uh -huh. Okay. Anyway, Vicky Dior said, and the real T is, Denise Clark said one of the sisters slept with the other's husband, but didn't say who. Yeah. She also said some of them was having abortions. Check hey. Gossip City exactly. page on Instagram. Ooh. Exactly. And, now, and I didn't know those things, but that's what I was going to say. She alluded to some of the other sisters doing some of the things that she did, but they covered it up. Ooh. It made it seem like she was the only one that was living in the world. <laughs> oh. 
Mm-hmm. But listen, we put too much perfection on the church. Oh, okay. You know what, Karen Clark, follow me on Instagram. I didn't even know that. I went on my Instagram to look to see what they were saying up on her page. And, and the thing said, follow back. I was like, oh, so I followed her back. You know, but I mean, I still got opinion now. Now, now the woman could sing and her daughter, Kiara, she could sing too, bitch. Them, them girls, could sing. Them girls, cause they could do, they got a gift that I ain't got. Mm-hmm. That ain't my ministry. That's a gift that they got that they, them girls is nothing to be tampered with. Nothing. Period. Somebody in the comments is saying Dorinda slept with Karen's husband. Now, I don't know how true that is. Oh, listen, we don't know nothing it's here. We're not a breaking news show. That's right. not our feed over here. We just talk about it. We just talk about it. All right, Craig. So uh, Sophia ain't say nothing. No. All right. so, uh, send... I'm gonna have to go out of here and send it. Hold if on, I'm gonna send it to. I'm gonna send it to it over here on this screen. I'm gonna try it before I open up the line because I'm open because the people seem like they want to talk. Now y'all better come on here with your good hats on and don't you bring your motherfucking ass. The Lord told <laughs> now the Lord told me to tell you this personally. <laughs> don't you bring your mother. He said this. Don't you bring your motherfucking ass in here talking to me. Said in, in Hebrew, Titi. In Hebrew, has sign language. <laughs> The Lord said, don't you bring your motherfucking ass in here trying to test T.S. Madison about what she hey, said. Girl. about the church, she <laughs> oh, wait, You forgot to say hallelujah. Hit it, girl. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> All right. So here we go, y'all. Let's talk about it, James. Let's talk about it. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Please make sure you're following my friend, Spill It Boy, on Spill It Boy TV on YouTube. Make sure you follow with Spill It Boy, honey. Spill It Boy. Treasure. We got Treasure this morning. Excuse me. Okay. Tre- from on Easter Sunday, Basha Tara Didi Arabosi. Hi, Spilly Boy. So, baby, we got some hats in the house in this morning. We got some Easter hats. This morning. <laughs> yes, indeed. All right, so come on, come on, Trey Jewel. You know, you, you, you know, you come on with it this morning. We got some hats this morning. Let's talk about it. Let's give you, give your rundown, and then I'm gonna I'm put somebody else on it. I'm gonna leave you here, but give your rundown. Go ahead. Okay, a couple things real fast. First of all, Craig, they told what they could without telling too much. Exactly. Okay, because see, if they had told one more piece, they had ran all into all the dirty little secrets. See, because that first little that little marriage that Twinkie had, that was nothing like that little Trista she had with this guy that lives here in Pittsburgh. Oh wait. Wait a minute. Wait, the book See. say the book say he don't like gossiping, <laughs> but the truth shall set you free. What's okay. going on down there in Pittsburgh? Well, listen, Twinkie Clark used to mess with this guy from Pittsburgh that's like a real famous undertaker here. <laughs> oh, a mortician. Girl. Father God. Cold hands. Cold hands. Okay. And that little situation, trust me, was a little more interesting than that little interesting thing we saw where he took and mucked her mother down to the ground. That was bad, but yeah. Oh, that hurt me. So we got some. Oh, hold on, my hat acting up. So all I'm going to say about that little situation is allegedly <laughs> house music, honey. Oh, well, we, wait, he was part of the community. I said house music. And I said allegedly, what you saying? But I'm trying to read in between. I'm trying to get to the under text. Craig, gonna... you know what the fuck going on? God damn it. I'm so but, sick of this is in the church now. But you, you know, know but, you, but, you, but you know, you know, some of the people in the community, I mean, if, that are watching, they missed that. You spell. Oh. Butter the butter the butter the ha, honey. That's oh, it. we'll come back to you. We'll come back to you, Treasure. Don't you move. Okay. Ooh. Bijan, this your East, come on, Bijan, your East. Head. Okay, baby, I had to cock that baby to the side. I had come to cock on, it to the side, baby. Good morning, Craig. Good, Good morning, Chi Chi. Good Hi, morning, Chi. Good morning, honey. What's the to get poet, baby? Poet. I had to. I had to. I had to just really get into a closet last night after watching that movie. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I had to get into one. You know. Because that damn movie touched my spirit. You feel me? It did. That damn, that damn movie touched my whole spirit. I felt like I felt like I was one of the clock sisters. 
But I was about to get up and start singing. You brought the sunshine. <laughs> okay, okay. Ah, I see you got on your church hat this morning, B. John. Baby, this is this is this is a multi hat. You know, this is for church. This is for field. This is for <laughs> street. You can you can do anything in that church, as long as you can praise the worship in it, right? Yes, baby. You All know. Right. All right, Bijan, we'll be back to you, baby. Hold on. All right, baby, baby. They, the girls is coming in. Oh, come on, Big Willie. God damn it! Yes, man. Oh. Yes, God. <laughs> come on, some hey, hey. yeah. I'm matching she <laughs> Big Willie, we having us some, we have like some Easter hats this morning, Big Willie. Big you Willie, where it? they give? Man, where it's is giving it? you all all uh, uh, Denise at the funeral getting carried out at the end. <laughs> it's giving you all Denise realness, not giving a hell about none of them sisters and living her life. So, what you thought about it? Give us your give us your rundown in in in, in forty five seconds. Give us your rundown of it. Overall, I thought it was a good B. That was a good grade to give it. I, I'm like Craig. I wish we could have really seen a little bit more about their solo careers. And I hate how they brushed over Karen that lap band surgery gone away. And they could have just really went deeper into that. <laughs> but, you know, I'm shocked they even gave us that much, especially for gospel, Kojic. Like, they normally going to keep it, mm. So I, I'm. They did what they did, and the singing was just they. They sung them under there. Uh, yeah. Let me tell you something. That singing was awesome. Those girls, the cast, the singing was awesome. It was some awesome singing. I felt. Mm -hmm. I felt the. I felt the gospel, Holy Spirit, all up and through that. You get what I'm saying? You know. Ooh, I do. And I and I comes to find out that the, that the pastors beat their wives too. Oh, you ain't know that. I'm a PK, and I'm. I don't want to spill no teas, but. Oh, you it know. happens all the time. More, I mean, it's like, probably happened more in the church than in, than in the real world. If you want to be for real, they already feel they got dominant spirit over their wives and they dominant and the wife got to submit. So that's mm. the well, let, let me tell you something. You know, I think what we as human beings do when people start saying that they walk with Christ and they walk with God is that I think what we do is we put a lot of 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 of, uh, of expectations on them and forget that right. they, that they human beings too. We we all human beings. You feel me? And the spirit of rage may come over you, and you may have to tap her ass. You feel me? You it may have to. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? You might be in the I'm pulpit. With that. Craig, please. You might be in the pulpit, <laughs> and and you know, yes, you supposed to. You supposed to have more restraint and shit like that. Yes, you are because you are. You know, you done you done made a covenant with with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You know, and yes, you are supposed to be walking upright, but you also are a you are a human being, Craig. So there are some Christian mm -hmm. folks that will cut your motherfucking ass out, bitch. They oh may, yes. Or they may, and now I can see them trying to hold because I'm one of the Christians. I try to hold restraint <laughs> as much as I can. I try to restrain myself from doing mm -hmm. doing those things, and then a motherfucker make me want to get the earth and the earth walk the ass out of here. You know, I it may it may cost me, but that don't mean I ain't no Christian. That's right. The Holy Spirit got to just catch you when He can, but sometimes you just gotta. Yeah, I have to listen. The Lord, the, the Lord, the Lord tell you He'll forgive you seven times, seven times, seven times, seven. Come on. Now, now listen, I'm past forty nine now. I don't know how many more times He gonna forgive me. <laughs> he still got more. He still got more. Well, thank you, Big Willie, for coming on with your church hat on this morning, the Maddie in the Morning Show. I love you for that. Thank you for participating, baby. You know, yeah. and when you leave here, chop this little piece up and put it on your Instagram, God damn it. So we, we can I make it here on and put hashtag the Clock Sisters movies review. I got you, baby. I got you. All right, Big Willie. Thank All you, baby. All right, Willie. See you later. Bye, bye, -bye. All right, Craig. All right, man. Yeah. I like you know, one thing I will say, Madison. Though you know, like we, because I don't want to, I don't want people to think that we're just saying that it wasn't good overall. I think it was good. I, I just was longing for more. So, like, remember the scene at the table when Denise said to her mom, she said, "I have no more for you." She said, "I have nothing more for you, Mama." She said, "Because you had nothing left for me after you put all of yourself into the career and and the other girls, you had nothing left for me." Like she was acting. And see, I've liked that girl since being Mary Jane. That's where I first was introduced to her. She yeah, I was, like uh, her Gabrielle too. Union's sister from. Uh, yeah, I like her too. That what mm -hmm. her name was. Uh, Sweetie, was it Sweetie? 
Not nah, sweetie. I can't, I can't think of her name. I'm uh, sure I'm sure one of the professionals in the comments know. Oh, <laughs> Craig. Since they, me, since they try to get me together. Craig, let it go. <laughs> oh, Craig. All right. All right, good morning. Oh, my God. Drop yeah. it low. <laughs> hey. Listen. We gonna go on to Easter the right this morning. I pulled out my pearls and everything. <laughs> drop it, drop it low right. for Jesus. Yes, I'm having some late communion. <laughs> Listen, Fred, this is what I want to say. The mother was really hard, but I really believe her experience with her career is what made her harder on the her children because mm -hmm. they, she knew how vicious it would be and, and wanted them to stay together. Yes. But I also agree, you know, you got to keep the brand, the Kojic brand going. So you can't say too much. You can't do too much. You can't release too much. But I would have loved to have seen like a, a five part, three part, something just to give us a little bit more to relate to. Mm -hmm. That's, all. Mm -hmm. That's all I got. I'm going to watch it again, though. Well, hold on. Don't go nowhere. I like that. Hold on. That was good. She said a good thing, Craig. Yeah, she did. My God, today we got Randy in the closet. Randy in the closet. Everybody shout out BDD out of OC. Randy, did you make your church hat this morning? My God, today. I couldn't find my church hat, so I had to throw, you know, a little something together real quick on the machine. Oh, you put that church hat together that quick like that? Girl, I got nothing else to do. I just throw something together real quick. I'm making masks and stuff, so I'm just in this closet sewing. Drop it, drop it low for mm -hmm. Jesus. All right, so <laughs> let's talk about it. So what you, how you felt about it? Did you watch, I watched it? it? Well, I watched and listened because I was sewing and I don't know very much about the Clark sisters, but I thought it was good. The music was good. I do agree it could have been longer, but it was a good background music for me. <laughs> I was smoking and sewing and listening and <laughs> feeling the spirit. So <laughs> You say you were smoking and sewing? Yeah, drop it low for Jesus in this time of in this time of need. It touched my spirit though. It was good. The music was good. It was needed. You know what I mean? So, okay, all right, Randy. Thank you for chiming in on it. Thank you so much, baby. I love you. Love you too. All right, boo. Yes, ma'am. All right, we go. Literally. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> good morning. Good morning. My cat is really trying to take over the show this morning. You know, she said, glory be the name of the God. We're going to worship him together. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. How y'all doing this morning? Fine you, baby. Yeah, how are you? We are wonderful. We are wonderful. I'm saying hello from Indianapolis, Indiana. But yes, I enjoyed the show. Um, I think that I'm with you, Craig. I think that there is more that could be said. And the Pay Sisters, baby. Mm. Oh, Lord, now you see. Woo. Mm. Lord. Look, look, Maddie. Lord. Now, come on. Lord. Lord, stop calling me. It wasn't even me, God. God. <laughs> Look, Maddie. Now you gotta if if you gonna make a claim, you gotta. Hey, they. I mean, the Clark sisters, yes, but it ain't just them. It ain't just them. Yeah, but I mean, and I'm not. We not tearing the Clark sisters down because the Clark. No, sisters, no, no, we not. The Clark sisters can can. The Clark sisters. Yes, can Lord. Play. Yes, Lord. The Clark yes, sisters Lord. is nothing to be tampered with. But I also feel the same way about the pay sisters. I want to see. I the agree. Pay. I want to see the pay sisters uh, uh, yes. because they you could tell that they're they had the discipline and even though they're not so much in the forefront as the Clark sisters, they still woo the the gift from God that their mother, you know, I'm I'm um on Instagram with the sister Latrice. And, you know, their mother has gone through some things and they've been there with their mother. And, you know, they're still trying to um, do things, even, you know, even though they're so they're not so much in the forefront and being, you know, recognized, I guess, as much as um, the Clark sisters are right now. Yeah, but I, I but I'm glad that this will open up a door for their story to be told as well, because I would definitely yes. I would love 
love, love, love to see the Pay Sister story because the Clock Sister story is an amazing story. Those girls are gift. They they have anointing from the, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Uh, yes, sir, God. Yes, sir, God. You know, but mm -hmm. the Pace, the LaShawn, you know. Yes, yeah. it. That's you it. Know. <laughs> That's it. Thank you, Latrice, so much for coming. You're in welcome. In your hat, girl. You look good. Thank you, you Latrice. Good. Yes, yes. Hey. This is my grandmother's hat. That's she it. gave me this many years ago, and I said, you know what? I, when you when you said go get your hat, I said, well, Lord, I think I got me one. Let me go find it. <laughs> Let me go find it. You know, I put my little earrings on, put a little lipstick. You know. Thank you. You guys have a good day. Thank you. Oh my God, I like this. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube. Or if you're already here, click that bell up there, up there, one of them, and subscribe so that you don't miss this or any other excellent content that I have for you. Don't meet me here. Beat me here. Ciao.